We begin with major business news tonight. Viking Air has signed the biggest deal in the company's history. It's a $65 million contract to provide a dozen twin auto aircraft to the government of Peru. The word of the deal came from the Paris Air Show earlier today, where Viking officials are getting set to sign another major international contract. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has more on the story tonight from the Viking Air hangar at Victoria International Airport. Like this Series 400 Twin Otter outside its hangar, Viking Air is ready to take off. Over the next four years, 12 Twin Otters, including this one, which is ready for delivery, will be flying for the Peruvian Air Force. Visiting their uh, people who live in the Amazon, supporting any kind of natural disaster like a flood or any kind of thing that may happen in the country, uh, transporting goods in and out of remote areas. The Peruvian purchase is worth $65 million, pushing Twin Otter orders to more than $300 million, including four heading to Indonesia to work in the oil and mining industry, 60 aircraft in total that are going to take until 2014 to build. We're ramping up our production. We're now at one aircraft a month, on our way to one and a half aircraft a month, uh, and hopefully to two aircraft a month. That's our goal in the next 24 months. If it all seems like it's happening out of nowhere, it isn't. Viking's been around for more than 40 years, but after decades manufacturing parts, it has only recently turned to entire aircraft. Viking's success may be all the more impressive considering the company is based on the West Coast, which in aviation circles is considered about the middle of nowhere. Uh, well, we think the Center of Universe is here in Victoria, um, working hard to make that uh, change from Quebec. The company employs 370 people in North Saanich, where parts are manufactured, and another 130 where the planes are assembled in Calgary. Viking is considering a second assembly plant in Russia to tap into three enormous markets. Uh, India, uh, Russia, and China. And finally, this isn't much of a surprise, Viking is hiring. Technicians, assemblers, maintenance engineers, and mechanics. That is, if you don't mind being busy for a while. In North Saanich, Andrew Johnson, A News.